Hi, beautiful Aries. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, today, I've asked for a little bit of a different intention or set a little bit of a different intention for your reading. I've uh, asked what your spirit guides wants you to know at this very moment in time. And we're going to go into that. I just want to say that at the very end of this reading, I want to tell you about a uh, um, an opportunity to be a winner of uh, to get a personal reading with me for free I'm going to tell you all about that at the very end so what your spirit guides wants you to know Aries and it's for the month of April what your spirit guides wants you to know and I'm starting with this wow enlightenment card and then we're going to get Two more cards. What your spirit guides wants Aries to know for the month of April. Second card. So we have enlightenment as the first card, and we have seven heavenly virtues as the second card quite extraordinary and the third card is quite large to shuffle so it's not they're not that easy Third card for Aries, please. There you go. An epiphany. Wow. And so, I just want to immediately just clarify. I just want to, uh, before I get into this reading, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pull a card for the enlightenment with the wisdom of the oracle deck. Can you clarify this enlightenment card, please? And then just get all in there. Clarify the enlightenment. I mean, the the energy that sits on the table is it's it's quite remarkable. Enlightenment, seven heavenly virtues, and epiphany. They're so powerful. Sorry, I just dropped dropped some cards. You want to have? There you go. Deep knowing. Very fitting. Deep knowing under the uh, enlightenment. And we have seven heavenly virtues. We want to clarify that for Aries, please. Seven heavenly virtues. Seven heavenly virtues. But the serendipity. What's going on? Serendipity, four leaf clover. And we're going to clarify Epiphany or Phoenix Rising. Clarify this epiphany card for Aries, please. This is some energy. Quite promising. And we have the third card. TikTok. Are you about to start a TikTok account? <laughs> TikTok to clarify the epiphany. Okay, wow. Just give me one second. I do apologize if this if the microphone is picking up the sound they're clearing out the the neighborhood like they're making it pretty but it sounds really sounds a lot when they do what your spirit guides wants you to know Wow. So we have the enlightenment card with deep knowing. And 43. So if we're starting with, I mean, they're saying basically the same thing. Because deep knowing is the connection to spirit. So what I'm getting here first is that, so I, I don't know, Aries, if you're second guessing yourself or second guessing your connection to spirit sometimes, this is what spirit wants you to know. So sometimes like it can be easier to like 
through me, literally through me, Emma, going through, like getting your messages through someone else rather than sitting down and trying to listen to your own intuition or your own guides, it can sometimes be easier to just, um, it doesn't make it wrong or doesn't make it any less than, but of course it's really good if you practice your connection to spirit, to your spirit or your source um, so that you can have like instant connection and instant answers, right? But sometimes we just need to go um, through someone else to get the answers. And so maybe that's why I felt called to do this today that, okay, so I just want to be a vessel for what your spirit guides wants you to know. And they want you to know that you have more of a connection with them than you probably realize. You have more of a connection to them than you probably realize. You might even sit on a day-to-day -day basis trying to make that contact with your spirit guides or with source or God or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you might feel like it's not really getting there, like you're not really getting the connection that you want. And I'm here to say, but you are. You might think so, then you might think it's like it's supposed to show up in a certain fashion. Like, is it, are they going to talk in a certain way? Is it going to, are they going to show themselves like in a real form? Is it, are you thinking that an angel is going to like fly down and whisper something into your ear? Like, do you have a um, pre, do you have decided how it's going to be once you have the connection? Try to let that go as much as you possibly can. Just try to let it go how the connection is going to be made and how it's going to look and what you're going to feel. And if you already have like some sort of some sort of connection with your spirit guides, which you have uh, already, like you, you just do. But if you have some sort of recognition of it or awareness of it, um, that you're now trying to strengthen it. And that strengthening, try to not try to not like pre decide how that's going to how that's going to look or how that's going to show up, because it's just it hinders a lot of ways for spirit to be able to connect with you but because you're so set on one way it's like that's that's the way it's going to show up and and when like it's going to only show up when i do meditation or it's only going to show up when i sit by the ocean or it's, it's like when i'm out in nature connecting with mother earth that's when i'm getting the connection no you can get the connection like all day every day that's the whole point okay so the bottom line here, what I feel like if you're taking, we're going to get into all the rest of this energy here, but if, you, if you're going to take something or anything away from this reading, I can already say it's that you have a deeper connection with spirit as we speak than you probably are aware of. And to just start to have that, like that um, awareness or consciousness in your mind, like I am more I'm more, that's, that's a really good affirmation. Like it's, I'm more connected to source than I realize. You're just about to find that out, like how much of a connection you have. Enlightenment. This is like, it's a time in your life where you're opening up to spirit. You're opening up to more, I don't know if I can say more truths, but the deeper truth of yourself, what really is meaningful for you and what really is authentic and real for you everything sort of everything else has to go and I love this lady I never learned what, what her face is like what her name is she's she's ha she has it all like she has money pouring out of her she has the um she has four arms just to brag a little bit the rest of you guys have two I have four arms <laughs> we have elephants in the back which for me speaks about wisdom and the tigers about strength we have the peacock um peacock couple there and the peacock to me it's, it's a lot about resurrection and we have that a little bit here with the phoenix rising this fe feels like a phoenix rising to me um so it's resurrection it's like rebuilding yourself second chances in life um but it's also like this could be a real beautiful romantic connection to someone like finding that life life purpose partner if there if there's such a thing but like your soulmate we have that in the, in the, like, it's a lot going on around you. Like you're really, really preparing yourself or opening up to all these different potentials, all these different possibilities that is going on around you right now. And with the deep knowing, with the owl sitting in the middle, which is very much like the um, um, elephants, like it's it, a lot of wisdom there. So what I see is a moon with the owl sitting on top of the moon. And then there's a moon behind so we have like two moons here so i don't know if you're 
even a different solar system going on because to my knowledge we only have one moon in our solar solar system but if you like go outside of our solar system there's actually like two moons and some solar systems actually have like six moons it's so vastly different like from place to place um but it can also be like a projection or a mirror situation because i see the stars are aligning in the second moon and that can be very metaphorical or, or, or literal, like the stars are aligning in the second moon. So it's like the moon that you're sitting on right now is, uh, we, I think we're just, uh, when I do this reading anyway, we've just come out of the new moon, the new moon energy. And so we're headed now towards the, the full moon. Like we have a couple of weeks here before the full moon. And then the next moon again. And whether that is like the next full moon, which it feels like when I say that, so it's probably the next full moon. So it's not the upcoming full moon, but the next full moon. There's something with the stars aligning. And as I said that, we had 11 on the clock. So there's like this portal situation. This You do the math of where we're at. I'm recording this at the very early April. Very early April. And so it's not the full moon of, of April. I don't know if there's double full moons in April. I'm not going to swear on that. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get into May. So somewhere April, May, so the stars are aligning with something quite important to you. And the deep knowing is just that unbreakable, unshakable, like you, you just know things in your life. You just have this connection to, it's either like, okay, you're on your way to manifest the, the, these things in your life and you just know it's going to take place. You just know it. Like there's no shaking you up in that at all um or just the deep knowing of that connection to spirit but i i think it's the first one because i think because the last one or, or the the latter one is about you actually realizing that you have a deeper connection to spirit than you actually are realizing at this moment and then this is like you just open your Open your arms. It's like, okay, so spirit, your spirit guides are telling you, if you just only knew, if you just allow yourself, if you just open up, if we are, if you're working on that deep connection, you're working on the connection with your spirit guides and you're understanding who you are at the core of yourself, just understand what you're capable of and like who you are. Oops, sorry. Um, both of these energies are like, just look at her as she opens her hands up into the universe. Like the stars, we have the stars aligning. We have the stars aligning, which for me means like a wish fulfillment. Something you really want is taking place. The stars are aligning in your life. And then let the show begin. It's like, and then it's like the stars are starting to fall. I think I would say like wish fulfillment after wish fulfillment. So there's something around like April, May uh that is quite quite astounding like I, I don't know if it's like double the so if you, there's a lot of categories uh that you're wanting a shift in like it's it's not like you're just you know let's say you have ca five big categories in your life like health health um work uh relationships um money you know whatever those big themes are in your life I don't feel like it's like you're so satisfied with four of them and you're just waiting for the fifth one to sort of come in. This almost feels like you're just satisfied with one of them or, you, or almost none of them. And these five major big ones are like, I know this sounds like really profound and really big, like what is going on here? Uh, but this is what I'm getting. And so <laughs> I don't want to dim the light or I don't want to like take away from the, from the grandiose grandiosity that I feel around it because it's like there's something about the five categories of your life that you're that you're so and so happy with are just about to fall into place around like a April around next full moon next full moon from when I'm recording this and I'm recording this early early April the stars like your the heaven will open up and just it rains opportunities and you know, it's not like the universe doesn't rain opportunities all over you all day, every day, 24-7. But there's something that you have realized or recognized within yourself. And we have that beautifully 
segueing into the next one um, with the epiphany there, there's something you've realized or you've, you've come, it's almost like if you just continue to meditate or if you just continue in your path, you just make a conscious like effort to have this deep knowing, have this deep connection with your spirit guides, like there's no way this is not going to take place. Together with the four leaf clover, like the serendipities, like it's raining, you're reaching for the big one. You're reaching for a big result. You're reaching for a big success. You're reaching for a big manifestation. And it's starting to rain. I get a little bit of lottery. Always a little bit of lottery around this one. So if there's someone that, that has planned out to play the lottery, maybe just really feel around April or May. Like what is what does your intuition tell you? Is it time to play the lottery? Like, Or if you play the lottery all the time, is it time to win? There's big things happening here. Like your your so your spirit guides wants you to know that there's a big windfall. Like there's really a lot of things starting to come in. And it seems not only like for one area, but for a lot of them, you're gonna be really, really satisfied. So you've done something right here. <laughs> and then we have the epiphany card with TikTok. And I just feel like with this is like what I'm getting with what they want you to know is that it's just a matter of time before you get it it's like and in it has a double meaning with the get it like before you get it like they're just it's just that the poletten trillar ner i would say in swedish before the token <laughs> the polet is token in english and to before the token falls down like before like the aha moment the light bulb moment like you know a light goes off like oh my god that's what it is that's what it is. I get it. And then the second one is like, you will get it. Like you will. So when you get it, you will get it. Does that make sense? And it's a matter what I'm getting with the TikTok card here today. It's just a matter of time. Isn't it always? But you know, the expression is that it's only a matter of time, which feels like it's really, really, really close. This is like, um, all we have so much like you don't might not see that, but all the way on this side, it's just butterflies. Let me see if I can. Okay, I'm gonna put this in your face. There you go. There are gazillion butterflies and they just continue. Do you see that there, there's a sea of butterflies? So many butterflies, it's, it's like it's hard to, I wouldn't even come close to be able to count them. And so the amount of transformation that you're about to, that you probably are undergoing as we speak because, because you can put yourself, like because you've ha you're having the light bulb moment, you're having the aha, the, aha, the, the epiphany, um, is, because you've is because you're in the transformation, right? And then today I see this, um, I never know what that thing was called, but in the never ending story, do you, um, so I saw this movie when I was really, really young, which sort of speaks to my age, but the never ending story with this cute boy probably have a, had a real crush on him, but I, I had a probably even bigger crush on the girl because she had like some, she had like a, like a necklace, but, <laughs> but in her forehead, I thought she was like so beautiful. In the never ending story, you know that you know that movie, right? And the boy is traveling on this dog that could fly, but I don't know if it was really a dog, but it was like a big fluffy animal that just sort of soared through the air. And it was such a freedom feeling. It, it was just everything that was just magical and freedom and like who had who got to have a dog that could fly and that you that you could sit on flying up in the air like and i get this with this like this transformation is like it gives you so much freedom it gives you magic this is not a transformation that is hard this is a transformation that leads to so much happiness and then i oh, i have all those birds on the other side not as many birds as as uh, the amount of butterflies but still like a lot of birds on the other side um, that just talks to me about freedom new messages new energy coming in 